Once in a while, we get some cool vehicles in the shop here. That's a friend of mine's 300Z Turbo. It's about 400 horsepower. Uh, I haven't actually had a ride in this one yet. I had a ride in this previous one, and it was pretty darn amazing. In any case, uh, we have something that's even more cool, and it's this uh, Scion XB converted by AC propulsion. It's called the E-Box. You might have seen these on uh, the internet. Uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. We've got a charging right now on a 50 amp circuit. And uh, you can see under the hood here, they basically have what amounts to a extremely large car audio amplifier, if it's uh, something that I can uh, say is similar to this setup. It's a DC system uh, on the battery side. It's about 400 volts DC, uh, 32 kilowatt hours, I believe, is the storage capacity of the battery, which is a whacking amount of electricity. Um, the uh, 400 volts DC comes into the box here and is converted to a variable frequency, variable voltage AC output that drives an AC motor that's attached to the existing front wheel drive transmission in the car. You can't really see uh, underneath there, but uh, there is an electric motor under there. It's not very large. It's probably about a foot in diameter. And uh, the drivetrain controller is 150 kilowatts. So just imagine 150,000 watts. That's what this box controls, which is a lot of power. Inside the car, I mean, it's the you know they've added this uh, control system, and there's a control joystick down there. I guess kind of like the BMW setup, but otherwise the front is stock. In the back, you've got basically battery pod under the driver's seat, there's one under the passenger seat and there's a little bit in the transmission tunnel. This is the front battery box. The uh, other battery box is under the car in the back and you can't really see it. Well there's a kind of the aluminum casing there for it. So you've got one battery box in the back, one in the front and there's about 5,000 lithium ion cells that power the car. And uh, it's absolutely cheap to drive this car. I even stuck a sign on the back, zero emissions, 100% electric, 15% of the cost of a gasoline economy car, which is which is about what it is. It's uh, If I drive my diesel pickup to work, it's about $400 in diesel. Uh, if you drive a typical, you know, Golf, Volkswagen Golf gasoline car, it's uh, going to be about $220, $250. Um, a TDI, we have the new 09 Jetta TDI, costs probably about $160, $170 in fuel for a month of my driving. This car, believe it or not, is $25 for a whole month to drive this car. And uh, it's incredible. So we did a trip yesterday with the E-Box and I've got this cord temporarily hooked up here. Uh, it's a NEMA 1450 plug and that goes into the front of the car here. There's a little cover that goes over there when uh, you're driving. And uh, yesterday we did a trip of uh, about 125 kilometers or so. Unfortunately the darn thing tripped the breaker overnight even though I didn't have it set at that high of a current but uh, it's showing 25, 26 amps there, but that's, I believe, at the 400 volts DC charge rate. And if we go into the menu, uh, hit that again, some statistics, and uh, charge, you can go in here and change the maximum current that uh, you're drawing from your electrical service. So, for instance, if uh, you have the adapter cable, which I'll show you. Had it in the back seat here. <clears throat> so this goes from uh, NEMA 1450 to a regular 120 volt outlet. So just in case you get stuck somewhere, you can basically plug that in. And then uh, you go into the car here and you change the maximum amps to 15 amps or 20 amps, depending on what you have for power available. And uh, pretty neat so you can basically get the power where you need it uh, the trip went really well yesterday uh, 
We didn't uh, use up all the power in the car and we're going basically highway speeds, 50 to 60 miles an hour the whole trip and uh, did a couple little performance uh, acceleration things, just real short bursts with uh, friends of ours where we stayed for dinner and and uh, they were quite impressed so uh, yeah I'm I'm sold on this thing I gotta figure out how to buy my own now <laughs>